hello everyone welcome back to my channel today is a two-part video if you like my videos please like comment and subscribe let's get straight into the video on the menu today is homemade hamburger buns In a large bowl, we're going to add in our ingredients. Pour in a half a cup of warm almond milk. Add in your yeast and brown sugar. We're going to let these ingredients dissolve in the milk. We're going to give it a quick stir and let the yeast and brown sugar sit for about five minutes until the yeast has formed a top layer of foam. Once your yeast has formed a top layer of foam, we're going to gradually add in our flour. Flour, give it a quick stir so it won't lump up. The more you add in your flour, the thicker your dough becomes. You're going to add in one egg and continue to stir. As you continue to gradually add in your flour, it continues to make your dough thicker. So as you combine other ingredients, it will soften out. You're going to add in your accent and continue to mix your ingredients. You want your dough to be very soft, light, and just have a good texture once you bite into it. So you need to treat your dough with a lot of care. You need to put enough ingredients in your dough to make sure that it rise and it's very soft and tasty. Now I'm gonna add in my vegetable oil and the rest of my flour. I'm going to continue to mix the rest of my ingredients until I'm able to shape my dough into a ball. Now that I have my dough on a flat surface, I'm going to sprinkle down a little bit of flour to make sure that my dough doesn't stick to the cutting board. I'm going to work my dough back and forth for about five minutes. You're going to continue kneading your dough. It takes about a few minutes. Once you finish working your dough, you're going to mold it into a ball and place it to the side. In another large bowl, you're going to pour in one teaspoon of vegetable oil. You're going to evenly spread this vegetable oil all throughout the inside of your bowl. Because once you place your dough inside this bowl, it's going to rise and you don't want your dough to stick. To the inside of the bowl after placing your dough inside the bowl cover it with saran wrap you want to make sure 
that the top of your bowl is sealed. You're going to place your bowl in a warm area and let your dough rise for about 30 minutes to an hour. As you can see, I only let my dough rise for about 30 minutes. Yeah, I could have left it on the stove a little bit longer and let it rise a little more, but it's fine. Now, I'm going to quickly knead the dough again. I'm going to sprinkle some more flour on my surface and go ahead and start working the dough one more time. Now I'm gonna roll and stretch my dough out to form hamburger buns. Now I'm gonna section my dough off while I have five balls to shape my hamburger buns. Try to make your buns as even as possible, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. So shaping your buns is a very easy process. You're going to put flour on the bottom of your surface. You're going to place your ball on top of the flour. Then you're going to pinch each side of your dough. Turn it over and roll it into a ball and place it to the side. You want to make sure that you don't have any holes or any air pockets in your dough. And so just that process you're going to do for each individual ball. At this time, you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In your baking pan, you're going to line it with parchment paper and place each bun in your pan. You're going to cover your pan and let your dough rise for about 20 minutes. Before placing your dough in the oven, you want to brush the top of your hamburger buns with something. You can brush it with butter, egg wash. In my case, I brush my hamburger buns with vegetable oil. Now I want to place my hamburger buns in the oven for about 15 minutes or until golden brown.
now that my buns are out of the oven and they look delicious i'm gonna go ahead and brush them again with some more vegetable oil to make the top coat look a little shiny right now it looks a little dull With my bread knife, I'm going to slice open one of my hamburger buns so y'all can look to see how my bread looks on the inside. It looks delicious. It's pretty soft. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.